we have 12 cranial nerves. Each of these nerves branch directly off of the brain, and I have them color-coded so that yellow stands for sensory function, pink is for motor, and the purple is for both sensory and motor function. Cranial nerves 1 and 2 are special in that they arise from the cerebrum, whereas cranial nerves 3 through 12 originate from the brain stem. Starting with cranial nerve 1, this is the olfactory nerve. It passes through the olfactory foramina found in the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. It passes through and goes into the nasal cavity so that we can smell. Cranial nerve 2 is the optic nerve and it passes through the optic canal in the back corner of the orbit. You can see on the other side the open optic canal where cranial nerve 2 would pass through. Cranial nerves 3, 4, 5, and 6 all pass through the superior orbital fissure. In order 3, 4, 5, and 6, we have oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, and abducens. Trigeminal also has two other branches. One passes through the foramen rotundum, and the other passes through the foramen ovale. Cranial nerves 7 and 8 are the facial and vestibulocochlear nerve. They pass through the internal auditory meatus, which is a feature of the temporal bone located posteriorly to the carotid canal. You can see somebody's marked up that carotid with a little bit of red pen ink behind the trigeminal nerve. You can also see the open internal auditory meatus on the other side here. Cranial nerves 9, 10, and 11 are the glossopharyngeal, the vagus, and the accessory nerve, and those pass through the jugular foramen, which you can see right here, and remember that is a feature located between the temporal and the occipital bones. Cranial nerve 12 is the hypoglossal nerve, and this one passes through the hypoglossal foramen, which is located laterally to the foramen magnum. And those are the 12 cranial nerves.